you by the Medical Center of Southwest Louisiana and Women's and Children's Hospital. Hi, and welcome to Chomp Time. This week we're here at Picanti's Restaurant. My name is Andy Davis, and to my right, the assistant coach of the Louisiana Ice Skaters, Dennis Holland, and coach filling in this week for the head coach, Don Murdoch, out on business, but uh, welcome here to Chomp Time. Good to have you along today. Thanks, great to be here. We were here on uh, Sunday after the game, and uh, it was great food, it's nice to be back here. Well, another meal for you today, Dennis, so enjoy yourself. Don't be shy with the chips, and uh, another great week of hockey passing us by the Ice Skaters, uh, the home opener last week, and we'll talk a little bit about that more later in the show, but it uh, must be great to be back back home in Lafayette and finally be having a chance to look around the city and explore a little bit. It is. It, uh, it's a great atmosphere. It's a great culture. The people have been uh, been fabulous to, to me and my family. Uh, uh, the, the guys coming in, the young guys, the young kids have been treated with uh, with you know great respect. They've been they've been given a lot of things to help out to start their their houses out and stuff. And it goes a long way. I mean, it, it goes to show how many people, great people, are, are in this city. And uh, you know, it was nice to see the the the, the sellout crowd there opening night. It was a, it was a great thrill for all of us. Always make it makes it easier to play in front of a lot of people like that. Close to 11,000 on opening night, and a, a great night for all the ice skaters yourself too. Your first time seeing a regular season game in the Cajun Dome. It was, it was. I mean, uh, especially for a lot of guys that come out of uh, junior hockey that played in Canada and stuff, and you're you're playing in front of four and five hundred, maybe a couple thousand people. It uh, it's quite a thrill. I think it, it, it one of the closest things you can make to the NHL is is uh, coming to, down to the Cajun Dome and and watching a, a great hockey game. Well, you mentioned uh, the Ontario Hockey League, the Junior Hockey League. Our player spotlight this week we want to talk about is Ryan Shanahan. Of course, played his junior hockey in the Ontario Hockey League, and Ryan balancing schoolwork and hockey, but off to just a fantastic fantastic star right now for the ice skaters. He is, he is. We were we were expecting a lot out of Ryan. We, we heard a lot of good things about him. His uh, his grit, his in intensity, his uh, you know, fish, finishing checks and uh, we were we've been thrilled with his scoring ability. He's played real well with with, uh, with Spotty on that line there and uh, he brings a lot to our, our, our table. You got to give him a lot of credit. He goes to school full time and is able to, to squeeze in practice whenever he can. And uh, he's one of those kids that uh, he's a competitor. He, he just wants to win and work hard. And, and uh, good things happen to those kind of people. Well, you mentioned playing with John Spolter, and of course, John Spolter is going to get any of his line mates a lot of points. But Ryan's also been kind of the protector on that line. And whenever John Spolter gets in trouble, not that he can't take care of himself, but Ryan Shanahan's always there to step in. He is. He's one of those guys you you, you don't mind having on the ice. He, he's a he's a gritty guy. He takes care of himself he takes care of the, the guys he's on the ice with so he's the kind of guy you, you need on your hockey club he, he gets it under the skin of the other team he's finishing checks he's playing hard he makes the other team uh, compete and if they don't compete uh, you know Ryan will roll roll over him. Well it's time now for this week's player spotlight coach have some chips while we watch uh, right. Ryan Shanahan on this week's player spotlight. This week's player spotlight Ryan Shanahan uh, Ryan welcome a great start for you and uh, tough for you balancing school and professional hockey, but you've been off to a great start. First, talk about the uh, the hot start for you this year. Uh, I guess uh, you know uh, Murdoch, coach Murdoch, showing a little confidence in me with uh, you know the last couple of years of it. You know, basically been a check in line and uh, you know, did that job fairly well. But uh, really sharing me a lot more uh, ice time and, uh, and it's paying off for me. So you've been paired uh, mostly with John Spolter among other players. But talk about playing with John. Of course, you are in a scoring role, but sometimes when John gets in trouble, you also play that physical physical role and uh, kind of help him out a little bit. Yeah, uh, you know, Johnny's uh, one of the marquee players on our team, and when he's going, our whole team's going, and, uh, you know, I'm just I'm just benefiting from, from playing with him also. I mean, uh, I mean, you give the puck to him, and all you have to do is get open because he's going to get you that puck, and, uh, you know, it just it's, it's going to take a little while for us to adjust to each other, but uh, I think right now we're doing all right. Well, he seems to be scoring at will right now, and the puck's really going in the net for you. Talk a little bit about that, and don't want to jinx you, but the, you really seem to be scoring at ease right now. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting my shots during the games, but uh, I'm, I'm really not looking. I'm just uh, burying my head and just, just, just picking a spot and shooting, and then they're going in. This, this year they're going in. Well, last year I had a few chances like that, too, throughout the year, but they weren't going in. But I think this year it's just, uh, just the ice time and the experience out there. Talk a little bit about balancing your score with playing professional hockey. The first, uh, the long road trip, you were flown in on two occasions for games and then flown back to Lafayette. It's got to be pretty tough on you to keep up that schedule. Um, I, I, this year, is, it's not so bad. I mean, last year I had a, a lot tougher schedule, but this year I kind of balanced my classes uh, accordingly with our, our practice and uh, our games and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it's tough for me flying in. You got to, you know, flying all day and they got to play that night. But uh, I kind of adjust to that pretty good, and, uh, you know, I mean, Doc and uh, Coach Allen have shown a lot of confidence in me, and hopefully I can keep it up. Sometimes flying beats riding on a bus, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, yeah, the other guys, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure they want to be in my shoes. Talk a little bit about, you mentioned Don Murdoch, playing under him this year, of course, as opposed to uh, Doug Shadden, who you've played under the last few years, and uh, his style of coaching, how that affects the way you play hockey. Oh, it's just, it's... 
you know, I mean, I like I like Doug Shedden as a coach and everything, but uh, I mean, he's just just motivating wise, it, it just wasn't there. I mean, uh, placed me in it. it's the role that uh, you know I accepted my role. I was just glad to be playing again, but uh, this year, you know, Coach Murdoch has put me in a different role. It gave me a lot more responsibility, and uh, you know, I've accepted that, and uh, hopefully, I can uh, just keep it going throughout the year. Now, speaking of your role, by no way are you an older player, but compared to some of the youngsters this year, you are on the older side of the, the team. Talk about helping out some of these rookie forwards and kind of telling them what uh, what to do and, and how to handle themselves in professional hockey. Um, I'm actually, you know, what I'm I'm still one of the young guys too, and we got you know 20, 21 year olds on our team right now, and uh, you know I still look to guys like Murph and uh, Mike Murray and John Spolter for for uh, little tips out there, and uh, you know they help me out, and then in turn I can help the younger guys out, and uh, you know if I can do that, then I can make their game better. Ice skaters, of course, a uh, long road trip. We've talked about that. Playing at home, and how much uh, nicer is it to get back home and play in front of the Cajun Dome fans? Um, it's it's unbelievable, actually. I mean, we we've had we had a long, long road trip there, as you know, and uh, you know it just doesn't it doesn't compare to coming back to the, to the Cajun Dome and crazy fans that we have. It's sellout crowds every night, and uh, it's just glad to be back. You know, and it's in a you know uh, environment that we're uh, conducive with and playing and. Uh, Right now, I hope we can come out this weekend with a good effort, three games and three nights, and uh, hopefully we can get you know at least four or five points out of this weekend. In Louisiana, culture matters, diversity matters, community matters, and at Hibernia, service matters. The kind that helps businesses like yours grow and prosper with smart ideas that can save you time, effort, and money. So why not switch to Louisiana's bank? We understand the things that matter most to you. Hibernia, where service matters. I know all about Women's and Children's Hospital. Once I came to see my grandma after she had surgery, I've been here lots of times. I even stayed overnight one time when I had real high fever. But today I'm here to see someone that I don't even know. That's him, my new little brother. When I go up, I want to work here so I can help people. Women's and Children's Hospital. Growing with you. Fill with folks. Did you know that? Folks has lowered prices on Kelly and Hallmark tires and custom chrome wheels. We've added more selection to our two boxes, and we will continue to keep prices down. Come in and check out the new Flex Top retractable truck canopy, steel cowl induction hoods, and chrome front bumpers. New stainless steel grill guards at the price of chrome. What a deal on stainless steel. Go to Fox, go to Fox, go to our two locations. Their looks are as powerful as the performance they deliver. They are Yukon and Suburban, GMC's full-size sport utilities for $19.99. The dominating size, the muscular stance, and the fine detailing of a luxurious interior. It'll make you feel like you have the power to go anywhere. Feel the power. Drive a Yukon or Suburban by GMC. Your GMC dealer now has special smart lease or smart buy payments on Yukon or Suburban. So what are you waiting for? See your Cajun Country GMC dealers today. Welcome back to Chomp Time. This week we're here at Picante's Restaurant. Andy Davis along with assistant coach Dennis Holland. And coach time now for our Ask the Gators segment. This week we talk about the home opening weekend. Of course, last weekend, talked a little bit of, briefly before the break, but uh, a great night for, uh, for yourself along with everyone else on the team to see, you know, close to 11,000 fans in the building screaming for the ice skaters who hadn't been home, you know, since the end of last season. It was. It was, it was something special. We all were, were imagining it, and it was a great thing. My, my wife even said she was at uh, opening night against the Detroit Red Wings when they won the stand. Stanley Cup, and she said it was a, is that big a show or, or bigger than that, so uh, we were all impressed, and then uh, I was all fired up with the, with the, the shooting off the sticks and, and the whole nine yards. It was, uh, it was a great show that night. Well, hats off to the ice skater front office. They did a fantastic job getting that all set up. You mentioned the fireworks, the flaming sticks, and uh, if you had something like that in Toledo, you have to worry about the building maybe getting blown up uh, your last couple of years up there. That's right. It would have been too small to do that, but everybody would have gotten fired, so it, it, was, it was a neat experience. I mean, with, with the fireworks and and the sticks and the, the pregame show it was it was a great time and and then Claude there coming all around around he was he was excellent so it was it was a good time and then we were able to, to tap it off with a big win 
talk about your uh, first pro opening night and then compare it to some of these younger players for the ice skaters, 20, 21 years old, being at that ceremony last Sunday or last Friday night. It, uh, it was, it was it's something special. I mean, I, I remember my first year uh, pro, we were in, in uh, Glens Falls, New York for the Adirondack Red Wings and, uh, you know, it wasn't as big a, a, big a crowd, but uh, it was something special and, and I will always remember that and I'm sure these guys at uh, their first time pro uh, will always remember, uh, you know, the Cajun Dome and that first experience. It's, it, uh, Besides having 11,000, just playing your, your first home game uh, anywhere is, is quite an experience. And, and the guys play hard. You sometimes worry about uh, guys coming home in a big crowd and, and maybe losing all energy because they're so hyped up. But uh, our guys played hard and, and uh, deserved the victory that night. That was a great night, uh, the home opening night at the Cajun Dome. And that's this week's segment of Ask the Gators. Ask the Gators, brought to you by the Medical Center of Southwest Louisiana and Women's and Children's Hospital. 10,000, 12,000 people are for a sellout. It's always you know, a great atmosphere and a great feeling to go out and, and play 60 minutes for a team of kids that supported you know, these ice skaters and fans for the uh, you know, last four years. So, I mean, uh, being on, uh, on the other side of the fence is uh, a much better uh, feeling than anything else. You know, it's always nice coming home. we got great fans and a great crowd, and they're enthusiastic, which always helps out, especially when you're playing three games in three nights like we are. So uh, looking forward to being at home for a little while and uh, enjoying the atmosphere. Certainly beats 19 days straight on the road, I bet. Yeah, yeah, beating your head off a bunk wall for 19 days isn't all that fun. But, uh, you know, home, a little comfort, uh, maybe a good night's sleep never hurt anybody. You know, not many players get to play in front of that many fans and, you know, in such a big rink with, uh, you know, I've been, uh, most fans don't do anything like when you score, like the chomp or like that. So it's really great to see, uh, to see that. And, you know, like I said, after that long road trip, it was nice to get home. It was a lot of fun. All the fans were excited and into it. They made a lot of noise and it's, it's a lot more fun to play when you got some noise in the crowd. Uh, it's always nice getting back home, you know. I, uh, I talked to a couple players down in Lake Charles yesterday and the Shreveport team's been on the road for 11 days too and they got home and, and uh, I was telling them that it was really nice to get home from that road trip, get in front of your own fans, get settled in, get into the Cajun Dome and, and now we can, now we got that fanfare over, we can just settle down to, to win in some games. It's always nice to play at home, especially off, coming off a road trip, road trip like that, but uh, uh, we got some new faces and uh, we had a good crowd the first two nights, hopefully we can uh, have the same uh, this weekend. Well, I mean, it was after the long road trip, it's great to come home. And, I mean, we had a great crowd out there. And uh, I think any time you go on the road for three weeks and, and you can come home and uh, you get the support that we get, I mean, it's it's fantastic. You ever played in front of that many people before? Uh, yeah, a few times in college. I played in front of, like, 20,000 at Joe Lewis. Uh, a, few, a couple of times here and there, like over 15,000. But, I mean, you know, night in and night out, no, I haven't. And that's what I'm hoping for this year. The all-new 99 Sierra, the truck for the one percenters, those who want more. A more comfortable interior, a more powerful Vortex V8 engine, a stronger, stiffer, lighter frame. The reviews. 99 Sierra is arguably the new state-of-the-art in the full-size truck business. A deal. Now, get special smart buy or smart lease payments on all new 99 GMC Sierras. See your Cajun Country GMC dealers today. waiting to be won at Players Island. Call now to receive your third clue. Your third clue to solving the eight-digit combination that'll crack our visible vault. Come and see the Great Pyramid of Cash right before your eyes. To take it home, you need to guess the code. And if you want a clue to the code, you need to phone the number below. The Million Dollar Visible Vault, only at Players Island Casino. Exit 29 on the I-10 in Lake Charles, Louisiana. <laughs> What you doing, Frank? Waiting for him to talk. <laughs> it's just a game. Frank. Well, some nights I'm in here, and I swear, I can hear him talking. We all have our demons, Frank. Shh, quiet. You're going to get us caught. Uh, Charlie? Yeah? You hear something? 
No. Now? No. As a business owner, you know that you can spend big dollars on printing. That's why it's important to make the right choice when it comes to choosing your printer. Someone with integrity, quality, service, and delivery is what it's all about. At Express Printing, we can take your ideas from inception to completion all under one roof. From color brochures and posters to letterheads and business forms, Express Printing can make your business stand out among the competition. For attention to details and quality, remember Express Printing and Forms. Welcome back to Chomp Time. This week we are at Picanti's Restaurant. Andy Davis along with the assistant coach of the ice skaters, Dennis Holland, with our chicken fajitas in front of us. Dennis, and uh, they're looking pretty good right now. Well, I'm ready to eat them already. But before we eat them, let's uh, take a look at this Rehab Excel training tip for this week. Johnny Gomez talking about knee injuries. and. Uh, Obviously, knee injuries you hear a lot about with hockey players. You've been pretty fortunate in your career, though, Dennis. I uh, haven't had any trouble with the knee at all, have you? No, I haven't, actually. It, yeah, you're, you go through a career, you most often you'll have something wrong with it, but I was very lucky. Shoulders and knees are probably pretty much the two two big ones. And if you uh, you talk to a lot of people, I mean, yeah, actually, Mike Murray, he who had a bad injury, they're, they're not fun and, and they're very difficult to come back from. Let's take a look at uh, this week. Johnny Gomez taking a look at knees on the Rehab Excel training tip of the week. Training tips brought to you by Rehab XL. Hi, today we're going to talk about the knee. And with us we have Dr. Montgomery here to tell us a little bit about the basic knee structure and the most common athletic injury. Well, Johnny, thank you for having me. Um, I want to discuss... Uh, some of the uh, function and uh, structure of the knee. Uh, as you know, the knee is a pretty uh, complex uh, uh, mechanism. However, we have a model here that demonstrates it in very simplistic form. As you know, you have the uh, patella that sits right there in front of the knee. Uh, we bend it back and you can see that there's four major ligaments. There's uh, two on the outside, two on the inside, and two very important structures here are the meniscus or cartilages. Uh, they are uh, very uh, common in uh, injuries that occur in any type of sports. Um, as the knee goes, it's a very complex structure. It can be injured in uh, many, many different ways, as with any sports and any type of injuries that we have. Uh, I want to discuss uh, just a few of the uh, different types of injuries today. Uh, one of our main uh, injuries that most people hear about are ligamentous type injuries, where any of the ligaments are torn or stretched or, or things like that. Another type of injury that we see very frequently are the meniscus or the cartilages as they're commonly occur, commonly called. Um, we can also have various types of uh, tendonitis and uh, bursitis and things like that that occur typically with uh, overuse and uh, repetitive uh, type injuries. With the uh, ligamentous type injuries, uh, one of the main ones we see is the anterior cruciate ligament injury. There are, all, there are four different ligaments in the knee, but the anterior cruciate ligament is the most commonly uh, injured, and it's one of the uh, more commonly talked about injuries. Uh, it um, is a ligament that uh, is one of the main stabilizers of the knee. Without the anterior cruciate ligament, the knee typically gives way and feels unstable. Typical way someone injures it is that uh, they uh, have a uh, cutting type injury where the foot stays planted, the knee gives way, and the ligament uh, is usually completely torn. Uh, the knee usually fills up with a lot of blood or fluid, and the patient uh, has a moderate amount of pain. They usually uh, have uh, clicking, popping, and the most common uh, symptom is uh, giving way, where the knee feels like it wants to give way with any type of uh, action that includes uh, a cutting or a turning motion. Usually the, pa the patient can walk uh, fairly normally straight or jog in a straight line, but once they make that cutting motion, the knee wants to give way. Um, usually all uh, young athletic people need to have their knee reconstructed, and typically we do it one of two ways. Sometimes uh, we use the bone tendon bone where we take a graph in front of the knee uh, and reconstruct the ligament. The other way is to take it, a couple of the hamstring tendons and use that to reroute uh, the actual tendon. It's a, a fairly uh, uh, a big surgery. A lot of rehab is required, but it's a very common procedure we do and virtually 90% plus success rate with it. One of the other injuries we see very commonly is a meniscus injury. And the meniscus are the cartilages, and uh, they basically uh, uh, form the bumpers or the cushions uh, on the knee. 
Um, as you can see, the, the meniscus need to uh, roll very smoothly. Uh, there needs to be uh, no irregularities in the cartilage in the knee. If there is, then that person will start to develop symptoms. With a cartilage tear, you can have clicking, popping, swelling. And once again, you can also have uh, symptoms of uh, giving way. It uh, occurs with an injury very similar to an ACL injury, uh, except that um, uh, it's not as traumatic or um, um, as, as violent as an anterior cruciate ligament uh, injury uh, would be. Um, we typically see these uh, very frequently uh, and, and mul multiple times have to be uh, arthroscopically treated and undergo surgery. That's some of the injuries that we deal with, uh, with uh, athletes and uh, thank you very much for having me on uh, Chomp Time. Being an instructor with the Navy SEALs isn't all it's cracked up to be. You are getting desperate. No, I'm always like this. I really have no chance with you girls, do I? Be honest, I can take it. Yes, but we cannot! You all are like angels, I tell you. This guy is making me sick! Hey, you're not the only one. Oh, 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 Fill with Falks, did you know that? Bed covers, Falks has fiberglass that comes in black or painted to match your factory color. Heavy-duty aluminum roll top or the no-drill clamp-on vinyl at the right price. Nerf bars in black, chrome, and stainless steel at a real good deal. Falks has hitches, tailgates, headache racks, bumpers, and a large selection of girl guards in chrome, black, and stainless steel. Go to Falks, go to Falks, go to our two locations. It's Fiesta time at the Ponte Mexican Restaurant and Cantina. Dine in an authentic Mexican atmosphere. Cuyavenos, camarones, sudenos, enchiladas, burritos, sizzling fajitas, and more. Enjoy the daily lunch specials, appetizers, soups, salads, desserts, and a menu para los niños. Join your friends on the patio or sing until the donkeys come home with karaoke in the cantina. The Ponte Mexican Restaurant and Cantina. I-49 North at the Gloria Switch exit. I've been thinking lately. All things considered, I'm pretty special. I've had choices, made mistakes, but if I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't change a thing. I'll never be a size six again. I'm getting older, but these things aren't important. What is important are my needs, my health, and my children's health. These are things I'll never compromise. Your life, your needs, your hospital. Women's and Children's Hospital. Alarms, putting security in a whole new light. Beacon Alarms, putting security in a whole new light. Welcome back to Chomp Time. This week we are at Picante's Restaurant. Andy Davis and Dennis Holland. And Coach, now time for our goals of the week. We'll start off with the first goal at home. Paul Strand getting the Gators on the board after the Mystics really outshot the Ice Gators. Must have been great coming back and getting that first goal and seeing the crowd go up in arms after it. Oh, it was great. I mean, from, from everything, from, from scoring, you always wonder, make sure you want to get a goal with your home opener. And, and to score our first shot was a great feeling. And uh, it was set the tone for us that night. Take a look at that goal along with some other ones on this week's goals of the week. Goals of the week. Goals of the week sponsored by Beacon Alarms. Back to play for the ice skaters. Wickstrom moves it on the far side. Bogus steps his way into the mystic zone. Lost the puck. Now sent out to center ice. Intercepted. Bogus down deep strand. Winds and fires. He scores! Shot of the night. Paul Strand puts it home and puts the ice skaters up one to nothing with 15.38 left in this first period. They can get a deflection or, or some sort of rebound and knock it home there. Well, a great opportunity for Jason Clark right off the bat there. Nice pass out of the corner. One timer. What a great kick save by Sean Goche. Off the face, off the Mystics power play sets up. Kozakowski on the near side boards. Had a juggle off his stick and out to center ice. Here's a chance. Short handed Murray moving up with Murphy. Murray near side flips across. Murphy backhand. He scores. 
shorthand a goal for Jay Murphy to make it two nothing ice skaters, but what a feed done by Mike Murray. Hey, get a load of the old timer. That there is the legendary Radio Robert. Who? Twenty years ago, he was unstoppable. Had a slap shot you could hear but could not see, hence the nickname Radio. Yeah, well, they can call him Rusty Robert now. Hey, Rusty! Don't, don't say it, Tony. Still got that shot, Tin Man? Let's see it. <laughs> oh. Punk. Hey, maybe you should be a gully, Tony. Tony? Their looks are as powerful as the performance they deliver. They are Yukon and Suburban, GMC's full-size sport utilities for $19.99. The dominating size, the muscular stance, and the fine detailing of a luxurious interior. It'll make you feel like you have the power to go anywhere. Feel the power. Drive a Yukon or Suburban by GMC. Your GMC dealer now has special smart lease or smart buy payments on Yukon or Suburban. So what are you waiting for? See your Cajun Country GMC dealers today. There's over a million dollars waiting to be won at Players Island. Call now to receive your third clue. Your third clue to solving the eight-digit combination that'll crack our visible vault. Come and see the Great Pyramid of Cash right before your eyes. To take it home, you need to guess the code. And if you want a clue to the code, you need to phone the number below. The Million Dollar Visible Vault, only at Players Island Casino. Exit 29 on the I-10 in Lake Charles, Louisiana. Hey, boy. What were you doing up so late last night? What, Papa? I saw you on TV at 2 o'clock this morning. Papa, they had me on tape. Uh-huh, I saw you. You said across from Walmart. Uh-oh. Well, I saw you. You said across from Walmart. Uh-oh. I said next to Walmart. That's ABI, Katie and his only locally owned electronic superstore. Off Ambassador, next to Walmart. The Billboard Music Awards are coming to Fox on December 8th, and we want to send you to see the show in Vegas. All you have to do is watch Fox 15 tomorrow night between 7 and 9 for the code word of the day. Then listen to KTDY the next weekday morning between 8 and 9. If you're calling 9 and know the code word, you win a prize pack and qualify for the grand prize drawing. Grand prize includes airfare for two to Las Vegas, two nights at the MGM Grand, and tickets to the awards. Brought to you by Fox 15, 99.9 .9 KTDY, and the Travel Network. Welcome back to Chomp Time. Wrapping things up this week, we of course would like to thank our friends here at Picani's Restaurant and uh, they had us an excellent meal this afternoon. Uh, special thanks goes out to them. It was. It, uh, they've treated us real well so far this year and uh, it's just nice to be back at Picanti's. Well, this week, uh, a light schedule for the ice skaters, but two games on the road. Certainly nothing like the first road trip, but it's kind of nice to go out and play a couple games on the road for the ice skaters. It is, it is. We uh, will see New Orleans for the first time. We're excited to see them and uh, we'll get back at Mobile. Hopefully we get another one with them. So it should be a uh, good Good weekend for us, and we'll come back with two wins. Well, Dennis, I thank you for uh, stepping in from the bullpen this week, and uh, hopefully Don Murdoch will be back next week with a great job, and we'll see you behind the bench. Thank you. And we'll see you all next week right here on Chomp Time. Chomp Time. What's brought to you by the Medical Center of Southwest Louisiana, Women's and Children's Hospital, Cajun Country GMC dealers, Bud Light, and Fox. Special feelings free.